in March of 1977, uh, Marvin released his live album, which was a double album, at the London Pal Palladium. Uh, it is a collection of songs that he recorded over a number of tour dates over there. And Marvin, as we've discussed, uh, has stage fright. And uh, it's funny what things will... It's funny how things will make you get back on stage and help you overcome your fears. Marvin had some things he needed to pay for, uh, some habits he needed to support, um, and uh, he had to get out there and get on tour. And here we are with uh, this album, which is a really, really good listen. Um, Marvin is killing it vocally as well. Uh, there are three medleys on here that pay tribute to his career as a singer, as a performer, he does the 60s, he does the duets, and uh, some of those 70s songs as well. And um, and um, it's really, really good. It's almost 30 minutes of his career that he combined the medleys of like over nine minutes a piece uh, each, and there were three of them. Um, but for me, there are two standout tracks on here. It's Come Get To This, uh, which is my favorite version of it. Slow Down, and he used that as a lead in into Let's Get It On. And then, um, and then Trouble Man, I think is by far probably my favorite song here. And it's not because of Marvin and his singing, it's because of the band. The band is absolutely killing it on that album. They are in full swing. They are completely in the groove. And you can just tell that Marvin just let them loose and them boys just went and, and went and go get, went and got it. Um, it's, it's really, really good. When you guys listen to it, you have to turn it up loud and just really sit down and pay attention to the horns and all the instruments and just, you'll be able to feel it, man. The, the, the energy is there and they, they go all in. Uh, so it's by far one of the standout tracks on here. And last has to do with Gots to Give It Up, which is Marvin's, um, uh, venture into, um, disco. So it's a 12, nearly a 12 minute record on this album which became a hit for him after they released a radio version, which was, I think, below five minutes, right around four or something. But, um, but overall, really, really good album. It's a great addition to the collection, it, and mainly because it helps sums up his career up to this point. And that's it. So we'll be back next time with his next album after this one, which I believe is here, my dear. So I'll see you then.